Well, I tell you, I sure love my Dodge truck. And these Magnum engines are pretty much bulletproof. They've got one flaw, though, that everybody has a problem with on the, the 318 and uh, 360. This is a 5.9 here in mine. And the uh, there's a pan on the bottom of the intake plenum that leaks because it's poor design, short bolts, bad gasket, dissimilar metal. You can blame a lot of different things. But it's time for me to tear mine down and replace it. Um, a lot of videos that are on YouTube show you exactly step by step. And there's lots of great instructions. Especially if you go to Hughes. That's where I got my kit. It's HughesEngines.com in Illinois. There, they're real reasonable. Comes with everything that you need. Except the intake manifold gaskets. Which I haven't done any scraping here at all yet. Obviously, but the ones they send with the kit. Um, they're made in China. Stamped right on it. I wouldn't use them. You're going to be doing the job again. I went down to our auto parts in town here. CarQuest, as a matter of fact, got some Victor Renz intake manifold gaskets. Another 24 bucks as well, worth the peace of mind when I go to put this all back together this afternoon. So um, I went ahead and there's videos of, of people crawling over the fenders and having to fight it. And I took everything out. I'm a big fat guy. I replaced the water pump here two years ago with time and chain and all that. Um, didn't realize that I had a problem with the plenum then, but, uh, anyway, it gives me something to do. I went ahead and took the radiator out too. I can stand right down in there. I have no worries. Um, as far as the other folks that have had problems with bolts breaking, I had two of these two right on the front. At least they're up front. They won't be too difficult to get out. That's right after lunch here. Nothing broke in the back. And it wasn't just a little bit of oil in the bottom of the plenum. I had a lake of oil in the plenum, and uh, that's a real easy way to tell if you've got a problem where it's pulling oil because of the gaskets failed. And you can see the gasket has failed, I'd say, a lot. It shouldn't look like that at all. Um, of all the other videos that are on YouTube, they show the same thing. So this plate's got to go. This will go in the scrap. That new Hughes quarter inch aluminum plate will go on there and we're going to be a lot happier I can guarantee it uh, I left the injectors in it doesn't hurt nothing it's easier to disconnect the fuel rail uh, and take the injectors with you as you go that's my opinion anyway there's a, a lot of different ways to do this job just the most important thing is to uh, you know make sure you have the tools that you need and get a good kit Get the uh, the kit from Hughes if you want that other there's that other APS or whatever they are but uh, it looks good enough I guess but I got to clean up the throttle body and I uh, just got everything apart thought I'd put my two cents in on YouTube a lot of folks put comments in the comment section I'm gonna put a little video in there too just because I can so if you decide to take on this project it's not all that bad just make sure you have everything that you need to do it. And, have a good time.